gather today is to understand your brief and mm -hmm. what you want from a lighting designer. Yeah. So are there, what are your main concerns at the moment with the current lighting scheme? I'd say this is the most important room. We spend most of our day in here and the evenings as well. The problems with the lighting, like right now, it looks fine. Most people will be thinking what's wrong with this space, but in the evening we really struggle with getting the right level of light. So I will want good task lighting if I'm cooking or if I'm reading or even eating. And my husband likes it really dimmed low. So we either have it basically pitch black and he's happy or like super bright lighting and I'm happy. We want to have the lights in the right place. Like for example, I can see um, that this light isn't centered above the cupboard. It bothers me. Mm -hmm. um, and especially as the evening progresses and it gets darker, that becomes more noticeable. Yeah. And just things like I normally have fresh flowers here um, and the light isn't in the right position. I'd love to have like in your showroom, you've got that beautiful light position. So it really like highlights the flowers. Um, and then things like on the worktop, we've got a white worktop and obviously our lights are halogen. Um, and where I've got like a pool of light here, it makes this bit of the white worktop look yellow. So it almost looks like it's stained. Little things like that, like when you live with lighting, you kind of learn what annoys you and what doesn't. Yeah, exactly. um, if I'm cooking, this light's right above my head. It's not very nice. Mm -hmm. And also like all the shadows like you spoke about in the um, demonstration as well. I just feel like it's not highlighting the pieces that I really wanted to highlight, whether it's pieces of art or sculpture, and the task lighting isn't right, and we can't get the levels um, right across the room because there's like three rooms in one, the kitchen, yeah. the dining room, and the living room. Yeah. It's really tricky for us, and even with my job, to like work out what would be the perfect level of light, where the light should go. Yeah. I just feel like overall it's not really working for us on any level. Yeah. So the reason, so with halogen, um, like you said, you're constantly having to repeat to replace the bulbs. That's because halogens last about um, five thousand hours, which isn't. A I don't even long think they're time. doing five thousand hours, <laughs> and that's depending on the quality yeah. of the halogen. Good halogens will probably last you longer, depending on how often you're using them. Um, when you when a halogen's on full, it's a beautiful bright white light, like daylight. Mm. But when you start to dim it, it does change colour and it starts to go more orange, like a yeah. candle light. Whereas mm. LEDs, um, they last much much longer. So yeah. we're talking more like fifteen thousand hours instead yeah. of five thousand hours. Um, so you're not constantly having to replace the bulbs, which is good. LEDs don't change colour. Yeah. They just change output of, of brightness. Mm. So you need to choose an LED that's a nice warm colour temperature for residential. You don't want to be going for something that's very cold too cool, or yeah. too clinical yeah. so we need to sort of get a, me a middle ground yeah another thing that i really don't like about the lighting is with these down lighters that i've got um in the joinery is how they've got this i don't know why but they've got little dots on them and they don't match up with the other ones mm. um and again the down lights that i've got here um, they make the worktop look yellow as well. So okay. I think having seen your showroom, I'd rather go for like a nice clean LED strip that goes all the way along. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and I know that you said we'll need like another two centimetres, won't we, just for covering the... Yeah, so at the moment your LEDs are recessed into the base of the, the carcass of the yeah. unit. Um, but in order to put an LED strip, we'd have to route into the bottom of this, yeah. which could cause a bit of damage. So because it's an existing project, we don't want to start causing too mm. many too many problems here. Um, but we could just create a little downstand on the front of the unit and put yeah. the LED, um, LED strip in a profile yeah. behind the downstand so it's concealed from yeah. view. And that'll give you a nice consistent yeah. wash, of, wash of light onto your worktop rather than sort of blobs of, of yellow yeah. light. Perfect. And then with the mirror, the other thing that I was worried about was whether or not we'd see the reflection of the LEDs. Yeah. I hate seeing LEDs. So how will we stop being able to see that in the mirror? So with because it's mirror, you are always going to see the reflection of the light to mm. some degree. Um, now what you don't want to be seeing is very glary fittings with yeah. lots of LED chips yeah. in, or you don't want to be seeing a bare length of LED tape because you see the individual chips, yeah. they're quite glary. So what we'll do is we'll put it in an aluminium profile with a frosted cover so that if you ever do see it, you'll see a nice clean line of light, okay. rather than these are quite glary at the moment. Yeah. So rather than seeing that, you'll see a much smoother. And line. with the aluminium, does it come in different colours? Can we do it in any like darker row colour? You can. So um, our standard would be um, aluminium, Yeah. but we can do sort of a, a special and have it in bronze to match Yeah, I think that would be nice. Yeah. Especially if you go, you're going for bronze. Yeah, because I'm going to change the doors to bronze. Yeah, that would be quite so nice to have Yeah, because yeah. when you open the door, you don't want to see aluminium. No. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's exciting. And then just looking at this unit here as well, mm. so it's good to keep your existing lights within there. Yeah. If you look at the ceiling itself, um, those two down lights aren't really lighting the cupboards. No. Because you've got this little sort of ledge the light's never going to get there. Yeah. Um, so really, they're just providing a bit of light onto the floor, or when you're, when you're stood underneath it, your light is just on top of your head. Yeah. 
Um, so really, I'd probably look at removing these two, mm -hmm. maybe changing these down like to one that's a lower glare fitting, mm. um, which we could retrofit. That'd be good. And then your down lights, I still have one here, and I would still have one on the end to reflect light off the cupboards. Yeah. So when you open your cupboards, you've got the light going in as well. Okay. And I think the only thing that makes me nervous, like when I think about that, is like, or I know you don't want to put the lights on the floor, but this definitely won't feel dark, this area. No, no. because at the moment you've got you've got lighting here, which is good. Yeah. But if you look on this side of the kitchen, really, you've only got this down light here. Yeah. Which in reality, if you look at where the light's actually falling, it's you've got a little bit on your worktop. Mm and a little bit on the floor, yeah. and your, most of your worktop is in complete darkness. Yes. You've got a pool here, you've got a very wide, soft pool here, yeah. whereas we need a bit more consistency across the island. Yeah. So if this is a brighter surface, and that's well lit, and the lights are tilted properly, this whole space will feel brighter. Right. And you haven't got any lights on top of your head, which yeah. always feels uncomfortable. And I remember what you said when we went in the um, lighting pod, how if you have too many lights, it will deplete the effect that it has on the lights that you really want to make a exactly. focal point Exactly. If you light everything, you're yeah. essentially lighting nothing. So yeah. pick out key features in your okay, space. I need to remember that. <laughs> and so you, this is an area that I wasn't happy with as well and mm. your um, kitchen was a perfect example of what I wanted because I always, well not today, I've just got dead twigs, but normally I have nice um, real flowers here Lovely. and it's like a focal point so I would love to have one of those um, beams that you have that just lights that up and makes that a focal point. Exactly, so the position of that downlight is not too bad but yeah. at the moment it's very wide and soft so mm. you're not getting that punch. So we'll swap the end ones for a very very narrow beam okay. which will make that pop a little okay, bit. Great. And then across the island you want your good task lighting Mm -hmm. So we'll go for a medium beam across the island and narrow on the end. Okay.